Right, let's go back to the score page now and have a look at all of those parts together. There we are, full score mode. Now, obviously we can't see everything on the screen here, so we need to create a little bit more space. The dividing line here between the event editor, which we'll come to later on, can be moved up or down. That's moving it down. That simply divides the amount of space taken up for score or event editor. This instead is simply exactly the same information as in the score, but in word form. So let's slide that up as far as it'll go. That's as high it'll go there, so we've got a little more room now. On the left-hand side of the screen here is a white scroll bar. If you click and hold on this with the left button, that will move you up and down your score. Like so. One other tip for um, making things uh, more readable on the score is if you make all of your tracks miniature, or maybe some of them miniature, you make a track miniature by first of all clicking on a note within that part. So let's click on the piano part, for example, like so, flashes, and then press M for miniature on the Atari keyboard. That's now made that a lot smaller. If we do Shift plus M instead, that then makes the whole score miniature. So M does an individual track, Shift M does the whole lot. And if we're lucky, we should just about get, be able to get the whole lot on there. There we go, that's super. OK, fine. You can have a total of 32 staves altogether on the screen. So you're going to have to use the scroll bar at some point if you get to use that. But a t total of 32 staves, which is either 16 tracks in double stave or 32 tracks in single stave mode. Another way to limit the amount of staves you can see on the screen is to go to the display parameters page. This is under menu edit, display parameters. Now this box is really like the Xbox we found earlier on, the parameters page, but just the whole information of all of the tracks on the same screen. This is telling us, for example, on track one we've got the voice. Miniature mode is on. It's got a, has, has no split point on it, whereas the piano has got miniature mode on, interpretation mode, and also split point of F-sharp too. In the left-hand column here, if we click on these figures here, they go light grey which means that the ones in light grey won't be shown on the score page, but will still sound, but the dark ones will. So if we just say, let's, I want to see only voice, piano, drums and bass, like that, voice, piano, drums and bass, press OK, or click on return, it's a thick black line, and we're then just simply shown that information. So we can get on and edit, edit that if we want to.